Welcome back to your favorite show on the internet, Terraria Road to Master Mode. I am Roro Billy, and this is the series where I go from not knowing how to play Terraria to being the entire game all on Master Mode. In this video, I fight the Empress of Light. This is the boss that tests everything I've learned up to this point, and shows the lengths people will go to beat Master Mode. If you're new to the channel or haven't done so already, please subscribe. Now let's get into it. In this video, we want to try to beat the Empress of Light. As usual, I don't know how hard it's going to be. I'm coming in blind. So the only item we need from the Empress of Light is the Soaring Insignia, because it grants infinite flight and infinite flight is pretty pog but before we can fight empress of light we want to try to get all the bus we can because this is master boat so anything can kill you in this game with the flick of a hand so we need to be ready for anything the first thing we need to get is the celestial shell so we have almost all the items we need to make the celestial stone and in order to do that we need the sunstone the sunstone is dropped from the golem, so let's just uh, murder the golem real quick and we'll be on our way. The reason why we want the celestial shell, by the way, is you can see it, it gives just a ton of buffs, like increased damage, speed, critical strike, life regeneration, defense, minus speed, oh my god, so many buffs. After we do that, I just realized that last episode I didn't get the fish rod wigs. Which is uh, oops on my part because they are they are a lot better than steampunker wings. So we gotta fight Fishrod again. Oh my god! I hope he doesn't gatekeep me like last time. You guys remember last time? That was brutal. So we'll test out both the uh, holy arrows and venom arrows and see which one does more DPS when we fight Golem. Cause I doubt that he'll give us the sunstone immediately. Yeah, we'll start off with holy arrows, we'll see how much it does, and then we'll go to venom arrows after. We can also fly by the way, which is just a little broken. Okay, 2000 DPS, not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> oh my god, his health bar is getting shredded. This is even fair, bro. This is even fair. Okay, I definitely still need a look because his laser still do damage. Still does damage. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, I almost died. Okay, I almost died. <laughs> I was at 5 health. And yeah, we didn't get the item. So we have to do it again. But uh, the just the random accuracy of this, it makes it so we can't target the hands only. So we go into other phases too fast. And that makes it not very good for this fight. But we'll try the Venom Arrows now. The DPS isn't as good, that's because I'm trying to make the damage go to one thing at a time. So it looks like for this fight, the Venom Arrows is going to be better because the Holy Arrows does too much damage. That's so funny. Let's just wait and heal. Oh my god, I died to Golem. I am terrible at this game, bro! Has anyone ever died to Golem post Fishron? I don't think so. I don't think it's possible. How did I do that? How did I fail so terribly? Let's just go nice and slow. We'll just take out one side at a time. There we go. That was so easy. I don't know why I died. An embarrassing loss. And that's the sunstone. Let's go. Let's go in here. Take out these two bad boys. Now we can make the celestial stone. And then we can make the celestial shell. Let's go. So we got the celestial stone. Now we need to go to fight fish rod again to get the wings so i'm poisoning him his health is going down super fast that's good to see second phase already wow the dps on this thing yeah the poison is doing incredibly well plus just the extra damage of tsunami this is incredibly good already on final phase wow one two wow he died Okay, maybe I got a lot stronger than I thought. <laughs> well, I have to do the fight again because I didn't get the wings. Hooray! 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 I love fighting bosses that I can kill very easily over and 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 over again. Again. I'm gonna get demonetized. I'm gonna get demonetized. Let's see if we can get the wings in six tries or else we'll have to go down to two. The mushroom biome again, and it won't be very fun. 1600, about. Goes up to 2000 because of the headgear, that's good. Now let's try with the venom arrows. Ooh, they're, they're about the same, honestly, but I think the venom arrows are a bit more uh, reliable. 
like consistent because the holy arrows do a lot of damage when the things go on them when the stars fall on them but sometimes like you can't really control that so we're gonna stick with oh ouch go away go away oh shit i'm gonna die i'm not gonna die oh shit i'm gonna die gotta just keep health gotta stay on top five for, for now no i ran into the tsunami oops Ah, uh, even with all these buffs, sometimes you just can't win it. Sometimes you could just have everything, but if you just don't play right, you'll you'll still lose. That's the beauty of master mode. You have to be, you have to be really good. You have to play really, really good. Even if you have everything, you could still die if you don't play well. Leave in the comments if you know which one's better, the Venom. Oh shit, the Venom or the or Holy Arrows for Tsunami. Definitely, I'm definitely curious about that. Oh my god, one. One, two. Oh my god! I choked! I have no excuse. I'm just like abysmal at this game. Like I'm doing so much damage. The only- there's no reason I should be dying. No! There's a tornado there? Are you serious? One, two, three. One, one. Okay, almost lost it, but we did it. <laughs> Do you hear that scream? The scream of terror? <laughs> what was that? Do Christian, are you okay? Got another tsunami. Really? When I want the tsunami, you never gave it. I had to beat you eight times to beat get it. <laughs> now I got it twice in a row. Okay, well, I have no more truffle worms, so I'll have to go back down to get more. Yay, my favorite thing to do. We'll also want more venom arrows. It's good that the venom arrows are the ones that are really good instead of the holy arrows because holy arrows are a lot more harder to get. The venom arrows, you could just buy the vial of venom from the witch doctor. Holy arrows, you need to grind the unicorns, which takes a lot more time. Finally, okay. We got 10 now. Let's see if 10 is enough to beat this all, to get all of it. With 10 more, we should get Fish One Dead and get the uh, things we need. Yeah, and get the wings. Let's go. One, two, one. Okay. Oh, thankfully. Thank God I got them. Uh, nope, not the item. Okay, we do it again. Eventually. One. One, two, one. There we go. Sweet. We're getting them good now. We're getting them good now. Oh, it's the fish run wigs. Let's go. We got the wigs. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Let's go. It took, took beating them another five times, uh, excluding the other times before. <laughs> but we got them. Um, finally, we got the wings. Oh my god. That was even the main point of the video. The main point of the video is to fight Empress. I am not excited to see how hard Empress is gonna be. Do I need to fight him in the Hollow too? If so, then I'll need to make like a huge asphalt platform then. 76 miles per hour up. What? These wings go fast too. It goes 60, but not nearly as fast. And these can barely hit the top. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and it still goes up. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so what I learned from watching videos is that YouTube shorts are very good for growing your channel. But what I've also learned is that Empress of Light, uh, her spawning item spawns in the hollow during the night. So let's sleep and then go there during the night to get the item. By the way, we're finding her during the night. I don't feel like dying, so I need to catch it or I could just kill it immediately. Uh, I definitely want to catch it and then kill it uh, where my asphalt platform is over here. And hopefully that's a big enough platform. Oh, lace wing. Where is it? There it is. Yoink. Got him. Okay, so we need to get a few of these because I don't want to wait for this guy. Are you sending me a sign? Are you saying if I follow you, you'll bring me to a lacewing? 
No. But maybe? Uh, anyone know SOS? <laughs> anyone know uh, Morse code? Maybe it's doing Morse code. <laughs> that would be pretty cool on the devs if like the fireflies had, or I guess the lightning bugs have Morse code. <laughs> it's like saying, please help me or something in Morse code. <laughs> devs, get on it. Devs, come on. Do better. You know what? Let's try fighting Empress of Light in the day. How hard could it be? I mean, I got fish rod wings. I got the... Uh, <laughs> I got fish rod wings. I got my chloro... My, uh, shoe my armor. I got my platform. Like, what else do I need? What else do I need? I, I think I'm good enough, honestly. I think this is more than enough to beat the boss. How hard could this be? It can't be that hard, right? I think I think I could easily beat it. Like with the tsunami. Did you see that tsunami damage on Vishron? Oh my god, it dies so easily. There's no way it can beat me, right? So yeah, let's try it out. Oh, it's gonna be so easy. Okay. Uh so you're shooting lights. Couldn't hit me. Oh, that was weird. Uh that's okay. Oh my god, it one shot me! Oh my god, it did 5,000 damage on my face! I can't get 5,000 defense, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, what? This is gonna be a nighttime fight for, for sure, for sure. <laughs> okay, just to reiterate, we're trying to do the boss to get the uh, unlimited flying shoes. Yeah, for the cultists and the pillars, it's not usually mandatory to keep the- to have unlimited flight, but... For master mode, you kind of need the extra mobility, so we gotta try and beat this lady. Loki, she kind of bad though. Am I, am I just making this up? Like, am I pretending? That was kind of. She's kind of bad. <laughs> hey yo, mommy of. I mean, uh, Empress, Empress of Light. Oh, where to go? Oh, it despawns immediately. Oh, okay. Well, I wasted some then. Oh, it flew too fast. Cool, I wasted all of it. It was all for naught. Everything's a lie. Nothing is real. I guess I should make it in the hollow, which is fine. It's just really annoying. All that work and I still can't fight the boss. Go right about in the middle. Use this and shoot it. Okay, here she is. Oh my god, get out of the way. That's a big that. Okay, star, get out of the way for the star. Oh, buffs. Uh, dodged it, thankfully. Star attack, let's just move out of the way. Okay, she dashes. Uh, this attack, I think I just fly in a circle. Perfect. We're winning, we're winning, let's go. Run this way. Move out of the way. Uh, uh, go parallel, I guess? Okay, we're winning. Oh, she's going frenzied. She's getting frenzied. Uh, go in a circle. Go in a circle. Okay, we living? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got hit. Uh, we living. Ow. Uh, potion. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, was not ready. I wasn't ready. Oh, prismite bolt. Oh, GG's. Uh, we got to second phase. That's good. Uh, yeah, this is just, uh, you gotta remember the attacks. You gotta memorize these attack patterns type of boss. Tree, I'm sorry, but you are in the- Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at it. It's gone. Reduced to atoms. Oh my god. <laughs> Who needs the containment unit when you have infinite mining speed? Look at it go. Yo, let's go. Ready? Buffs. Ready? Set. Oh. Bring you out and go. Okay, she's angry. Um. Good, 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 good. Mommy? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I won't. I won't call you mommy again. I won't call you mommy again. I'm at the top of the world for no reason. I'll use this now because there's a little pause right now. Gotta go perpendicular to the swords. That's what I've learned. And here you want to go. Oh wait, she she's physically body blocked me. Thank you for dodging. Gotta go in a circle. Oh my gosh, she keeps body blocking me. Oh my gosh, she's low. She's so low. 
Let's just fly up. Oh, okay. Let's just fly all the way down. Go this way. Keep running in circles. Yep, perfect. 9,000 health. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, Empress of Light is done! Done for! Let's go! It's such an easy boss. It was just so easy. Second try. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. The, these are OP weapons. Let's go. We got the Soaring Insignia. Let's go. I don't I don't know if this was guaranteed or not, but we got it. One fight in. Let's go. That means I don't need to fight Empress of Light until next time. Grants infinite flight. So now I can go wee all the way up, all the way down. And I could just do this forever. Let's go. Is there any other reason I should fight? Oh, wait. I want to see this weapon. Eventide? Wait, this looks amazing. <laughs> this is a sick uh, bow and arrow. Is it better than Tsunami? What I've learned is that Tsunami is basically the same thing. It does like almost the same amount of damage as Eventide. Although Eventide is really, really cool though. Like, look at this shit. It gets buffed when you use normal arrows, though. Oh, they all turn into the rainbow arrows. Oh, wow. That's super cool. <laughs> it's a 25% chance to get the weapon. Lols. Imagine. Could never be me. Uh, even Tide is, like, slightly better. <laughs> slightly, but what makes it really better is the un endless quiver. If you have an endless quiver, it will make it busted. Because you don't need to get any of the other arrows. That being said, the best arrow for Tsunami is Poison Arrows. Which is very easy to get. Venom Arrows are very easy to get too. So, like, there's not that big of a difference between the two. This is also Piercing though, which makes it, like, twice as good. Like, because it, it can, like, target multiple enemies at once. Which makes this just a little bit better. And because I don't need to have extra uh, ammo... I think it makes it just a slightly better, so thank you Tsunami for all of you've done, but you have been replaced by Eventide. Okay, this this definitely gives a speed buff and ag agility buff. Like look. Like why why can't I move so fast? In the air. This is insane. Wait. I'm going I'm going a hundred miles an hour in the air. Wait a minute. With it off? And my max speed, my max speed is 78. This thing is insane. The Empress of Light has officially been defeated. Woo, let's go. It's done. He has done it. He has beaten the game. If you, if you made it this far, you've obviously enjoyed the content. So subscribe and then hopefully I can go full time eventually. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.